uh, Project Mariana, uh, an initiative whose goal was to explore the application of central bank digital currencies in enhancing the efficiency uh, and security of cross-border payments uh, has been successfully concluded. Uh, the Bank of France has confirmed uh, uh, even as this pilot comes to an end. One developer notes that the Bank of International Settlements reportedly utilized the public Ethereum, Sapolia testnet, and Kerr Finance's smart contracts as the base of Project Mariana, testing and measuring the efficacy of cross-border Forex automated market maker pilot. The CBDC project depended on Kerr Finance's code. Even so, it's not, but people have an out to mine there. The BIS wanted to keep the use of Kerr's framework private. So, so far, there's been no comment from Curve Finance or any Ethereum core developers regarding Project Mariana's use of decentralized finance, DeFi code, or architecture. However, looking at Curve Finance's experience in enabling stablecoin movement and swapping, their expertise could have been valuable. De film the data on September 28th shows that Curve Finance had over $2.1 billion dollars uh, in total value uh, locked. The Curve Finance is a decentralized exchange for uh, stable coins, tokenized fiat issued privately uh, by entities such as Circle or Tether Holdings. The protocol depends on an automated market make model uh, to draw liquidity and ensure price discovery at low slippage. Um, and um, Project Narion, a platform by the BIS, and multiple central banks, such as the Bank of France and the Swiss National Bank, uh, used uh, the same architecture for the same goals as in Kerr Finance, uh, access liquidity and achieve price discovery. Uh, next lead. It is unclear which versions of Viper were used to code the smart contracts in this pilot. Uh, however, it is worth noting that uh, Kerr Finance experienced a, a hack and it's late July, resulting in over $60 million loss. This happened due to a vulnerability in older versions of Viper that was exploited through a re entrancy attack. While the BIS says central banks should first create a CBDC framework, the anti-CBDC bill, or the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act, introduced by pro-crypto Congressman Tom Emmer, in February of 2023 was recently considered by the House Financial Services Committee on September 20, 2023. The bill is yet to be voted by the full House of Representatives. If adopted, the act will bar the Federal Reserve U.S. Central Bank from issuing a digital version of the dollar. The bill was widely supported by Republicans and opposed by Democrats. Supporters are concerned about abuse playing in that CBDCs give governments more power and infringe on privacy rights.